Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to show you how you can write about your experiences outside. You were supposed to go find a flower or a plant, think about it, and you're going to write about it. So I went outside and I looked at the trees. There's so many trees outside the school, so that's what I'm going to draw. So I'm going to draw a picture first. I'm going to sketch it. So that means you're going to use your pencil. If you have a pencil, get it out. I'm going to use my dry erase marker because you can see it better in the video, but I want you to use a pencil. All right, here we go. I'm not just going to say I saw a tree. I'm going to tell you what type of tree it was. I'm going to tell you it was a tall tree with a hole in the middle. Are you ready? Watch. First, I think about the first word I want to say in my sentence. I. Oh, I know the word I. That's a word wall word, a capital I. And you're going to use your foundation line. So make sure you start at the skyline, pull down to the grass line, and go across, capital I. I. Then you could listen again. Do you hear any other sounds in I? Is it spelled any differently? Nope, nope, it's just a capital I. I wrote it. And you're gonna leave a space. You can use two fingers and next to where the, over on the other side of your fingers, you're gonna start your next word. I saw, s oh, I hear S. I'm gonna stretch it out. S s oh, oh, I hear, I think I hear A. I'm gonna write A. I'm gonna make it lowercase. All the rest are lowercase. All the rest of the letters are lowercase because not only I, the word wall word I is always capitalized, it's the beginning of our sentence. So the rest of the words should be lowercase. So I saw, hmm. I don't hear any other sounds. So that's the end of my word. Kid writing and adult writing looks very different and that's okay because you're a kid. You should be using kid writing. I saw, two fingers, new word. Uh, oh, that's a word wall word. A, uh, lowercase a. I saw, I saw, uh, the next word in my sentence is going to be a big b, b. I think I can tap that out. I hear b, i, g, big b, b, b. B, i, i, i. I. G, 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 I saw a big, oh, I don't think I'm going to have enough space for tree, so I'm going to sweep, whoop, down under I, to the next line, I saw a big tree, T tree, I hear, I hear a T, so I'm going to make a T, tree, oh, I hear R, tree, E, E. I saw a big tree. I'm not done my sentence because I'm going to say with. I saw a big tree with a. So I need with. So I'm going to write that word. Tree with. 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 I hear a W. With. Hey, T H. I hear T H. I saw a big tree with a, oh yeah, that's a word wall word. I saw a big tree with a hole. Great. <sighs> oh, oh. Hole. L. I think that's all I hear, hole. I saw a big tree with a hole. Sweep. It was in the middle, right? In the middle of the trunk. I saw a big tree with a hole on, on, all I can hear is N, so I'm gonna write an N. 
I saw a big tree with a hole on two finger space. The T H E, that's a word, well word. On the trunk. Trunk. Tr -t. I hear T. I hear R. I hear, I hear C or K. Hmm. I'm gonna do my best dish. I'm gonna go with K. That's what I think it is. I do my best dish when I am kid writing. I saw a big tree with a hole on the trunk. And I'm done my sentence, so I need a period. I'm saying, I'm done. Stop reading. All right. Now, at school, we would have the adult write adult writing underneath. You can if your adult is able to. If not, that's okay. Because luckily I'm a kindergarten teacher and I'm pretty good at reading kindergarten writing. But I'll show you what it looks like when an adult does adult writing underneath. They would write, I, in adult writing, saw a big tree with a speak hole on the trunk. And then, kindergartners, you would touch under each word of the adult writing and read it back because the adult writing says the same thing as your kid writing, just looks a little bit different. I saw a big tree with a hole on the trunk. I'll do it again. I saw a big tree with a hole on the trunk. All right, writers, go for it. I can't wait to hear about all of the plants and flowers that you saw, and I can't wait to see your kid writing. And if kid writing is tricky for you, that's okay. We're learning. We'll learn together, authors and illustrators. Oh, don't forget to color in your picture. Make sure you don't leave any white spaces. Watch how I color in my shirt blue. I'm gonna go all the way in and around. No white spaces. Ta-da! I can't wait to see your coloring and your writing. See you later, alligators.